Uh, we love featuring artists you should know about. Today, we're heading to Australia to chat with singer-songwriter Kevin Sullivan. He studied forensic investigation and became a police forensic crime scene investigator. He had enough blood, bombs, and criminals, and he turned into a, an award-winning singer-songwriter. With a career spanning over the last two decades, his latest album, Three Ways, comes out on June 28th. His latest single, Journey, comes out Friday. But you get a treat this morning. You're going to hear it first on the show. We're excited to have Kevin Sullivan on the show. First, Kevin, thanks so much for staying up with us. Hi, Jeff, and hello, Wyoming. It's uh, it's a long way. We went to the States. We didn't quite get up to Wyoming, but we will next time. But thanks for having me on. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk about that. Well, what time is it there? So it's just coming up to about 10 past 10 in, in the evening. Okay. So it's 10 o'clock at night on Tuesday. It's, it's 6.10 in the morning for us. So a little bit of time change. Well, it's crazy. Kevin and his family, they're called the... The Sullivans. You guys toured during COVID. You lived in a van for two years. You played 270 shows. What was the reaction? Did you get any kickback? Did everyone love it? What? It was really, it was really amazing, and it just came out of nowhere. We'd never, we'd never done the you know, the van or the RV thing. And uh, I released a song I wrote about well, one of our really important military days is is Anzac Day, the 25th of April. And I'd been to Gallipoli, and I wrote a song called Pilgrimage. And then, then with COVID, they cancelled the whole um, military day. And uh, I said to my wife, we should get one of those caravans. And she, she thought I was a bit crazy. But we got sponsored by an amazing caravan company. And, yeah, like you said, we lived in it for two years. And we were touring pretty much when no other artist really was. Everyone was in lockdown, not only in Australia, but around the world. And we'd turn up in these remote communities and... Uh, it was really emotional. People hadn't seen their children or their grandkids. And we'd turn up in these towns in the middle of nowhere, Jeff, and people were like, who the hell are you people and how are you here? And we'd play music and we really kept live music going. And, uh, and it's a really important meeting, as, as you would know. Yeah, and, and you tour with the whole family, your wife, and you got three kids, KJ, Cha-Cha, and Jet. How was it living in the van for two years? Look, you're sort of living on top of each other, and uh, there's no shame when you, you know, we've got the shower and the whole, the bathroom, and you're sort of, with five of us in the van, it, it was a bit cramped, but, you know, it's funny, um, you know, as you said, I had a, I had a background in, in, in the police, I was a forensic policeman, and I was a bomb, a bomb technician, and I was a uniformed police officer, and I've been into a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of the jails over the years, and I've wondered how people could live in those confined spaces but we lived in that van obviously we could get out uh, but we lived in that van for two years and uh, you just sort of get used to it and it didn't really take us all that long within maybe a month or so um, and we were moving every day and we did as you said we did over 270 shows and about 150,000 kilometers look it was just the most amazing adventure and uh, you know we've traveled the world a fair bit I've recorded in Nashville and I've seen a fair bit of the states but uh it's really good to have a look at your own backyard, Jeff, and, and with our children, it wasn't just an education for them, it was an education for my wife and I too. It's, it's probably the best thing we ever did, and we're still going, we're still on the road, we're still we're still touring. Yeah, if you go check out KevinSullivanMusic.com, he's on Facebook, Instagram. If you go to his website, you can check out his dates. His latest album, Three Ways, comes out on the 28th, his brand new single, Journey comes out on Friday. And it, it's been one heck of a junior, journey for you, Kevin. You mentioned it. You were a forensic crime scene investigator for like 27 years. He was a bomb tech. You went through dead bodies to investigate their deaths. So you covered some huge tragedies in Australia. You suffer from PTSD, but you had an accident that left you like uh, up for like three years, right? You broke your arm in like 100 places, Kevin. <laughs> well, it sort of seemed like 100 places, Jeff. <laughs> I was. Uh, I went back to uniform. I got promoted to to an inspector, and I was a boss at a police station. And I used to ride my push bike home. And yeah, like you said, I came off my bike, and I broke my right humerus, which is a bone between your elbow and your shoulder. And there was nothing funny about breaking it either. Too, I might add. I broke it in seven places, and I was off work for over you know, over two years. My wife said to me, Jeff, because I always played music in my spare time and on days off and like uh, holidays, vacation. I would travel with bands and sort of try to live my musical dream. And when I broke my arm um, 
and I was sort of pensioned out of the police and my wife said to me, she said, um, you're like a lot of men, you're very stubborn, you, you haven't been listening to God and God threw you off that push bike that day. And Now, I don't know whether God does that, Jeff, but maybe he did give me a bit of a gentle nudge because it's the best thing that ever happened to me. Yeah, you were always meant to play music because your dad is like 93 now. And uh, we'll, we'll mention him, but he was a Dixieland jazz pianist, which is crazy. When I heard that, I'm like, Dixieland music in Australia? I mean, what, was he playing with bands? What was it? Yeah, he was a young fella. He, he's one of 10, and, and he, he got the musical gene, and, and that's obviously where we all got it from. And uh, he would play in bars and pubs, and, and uh, you know, he said in, in the early days he, was, he played with bands, and, um, and then he played a lot of stuff on his own, and uh, he'd, get, he'd get paid just a hat passed around and, and a few beers, and uh, he's been such a great encouragement. So a lot of my music has a lot of sort of jazz infused in it. And I'm and look, I'm a country singer songwriter, um, but sometimes people say to me, uh, Jeff, they say, "What what the jolly heck are you?" And look, I'm a singer songwriter, and my my music is very diverse. And um, yeah, I, on the new album, I actually wrote a song about my dad called "The Piano Player," and and. Uh, uh, it's got it's got uh, trombone and, and trumpet and saxophone and clarinet. So uh, yeah, I've, I've got a lot of dad's legacy coming through me, Jeff, which is a good thing too. I think. Yeah, and he also wrote about a, a song about his mom, Diane. We're going to mention that here in a minute. But you recorded in Nashville. You recorded against the tide. The album. It, why is that not available anymore? So, well, it actually, it's a bit of a technical thing. I was going to call this new album Against the Tide, and Against the Tide is one of the tracks. So I recorded four tracks in, in Nashville um, at Alexander the, the Great Studios um, just out of Nashville there, and we've been there a couple of times. Um, but then while we were on tour traveling around Australia, we stopped at a roadhouse, which is called the Three Ways Roadhouse. And, and so we've changed the name of the album from Against the Tide to Three Ways. So it's the same album. I've changed the, the title. And we did that uh, because the Roadhouse, which is something like one of your roadhouses on like Route 66, it's, to, it's a roadhouse right on the highway and all the trucks and the, and the caravan people and tourists, um, they call into this roadhouse. And when we were on tour, we were getting a bit low on cash and, and uh, and we pulled into this roadhouse. We did a couple of gigs there, and uh, and the owners were so lovely and welcoming to us. When I went home, I wrote a song called Three Ways, and and the uh, the the artwork for the new album Three Ways is an intersection, which is in the middle of Australia. It's in in a place called the Northern Territory, and 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 the artwork is an is an aerial shot of of that intersection, the Three Ways intersection. So. Uh, yeah, well, we, we don't think anything happens by chance, uh, Jeff. We think everything was sort of meant to be. We've got a lot of faith and, uh, you know, we're just, we're just having a go, which is a bit of an Australian thing. We're just having a go and, and seeing, where, seeing where the road leads us. Yeah, and if you want to check that out, Kevin's got a video for three ways. Uh, you can go check it out, KevinSullivanMusic.com. Go to YouTube and check him out, Kevin Sullivan Music, and you can check out three ways. And another cool thing, you, you're performing and the people start doing a line dance when you're doing your concert. So that inspires you to write this song called The Stroll because you wanted to write a line dance song. Well, you know what? If you're a country singer, Jeff, and, and I've done hundreds and hundreds of gigs all over the country and, and we played overseas a lot, and you've got this really passionate group of people. I remember the first time it happened, I was sort of in shock thinking, who are these people? And I had all these line dancers up on the floor and they're so welcoming and they know the dance steps and I thought, I've got to write one of those. So I got together with a line dancing superstar from out here and, and I wrote a song called The Stroll and it's a really funny backstory. There's a website in the UK called, um, and I'm not making this up, it's, it's sort of an international line dancing website where all the line dancing instructors put all the dance steps where you learn it. It's called coppernob.uk. And I went on to that website after the line dancing uh, instructor put, put our, my dance steps up. And there's people have put YouTube videos up from, from South Korea who've learned my song. They're all in these beautiful outfits and they're dancing my song, The Stroll in South Korea. And you really can't make that up, wow. Jeff. Yeah, that, that's pretty amazing. And it's been climbing up your Spotify for not being out very long either. So it's definitely catching on all around the world. Well, and you guys touring in COVID, it paid off because The Voice Australia 
they got a hold of you like during when you're during COVID. Did you believe it when they called? So they rang this. We were in a, a north, the northern part of Australia, and we'd been on the road for many months, and uh, we'd done a lot of TV. Like we, like I said, we we're only very one of very few musical people who were musical groups who were who were performing. Everyone around Australia, and, and a lot of people around the world, we locked down, and they called us. They'd seen us on the TV and some newspaper articles. And they said, would we come on The Voice? And I did want to sing an original song. They wouldn't let me. I can't say too much, of course, but they wouldn't let me. But I initially said no, that I wouldn't go on it. But then they rang back and spoke to my wife. And you know how this story is going to end, Jeff, don't you? And uh, she said, look, I think we, I think you guys should go on it. And look, we didn't get a chair turn, but I did get to hug Keith Urban. And look, uh, it was worth it just for that. Yeah, for sure. And actually, Keith had some nice things to say about you guys. So uh, that was probably... Pretty cool too. Yeah, he was really good. He said your your true Australian spirit was was present there, and he said that's what this show is all about. But uh, we've just recently had a bit of an American uh, uh, connection here. I don't know if you know that. We just because uh, I met um, a girl called Kinsey Rose, who's an American country singer, and I met her when we were in Nashville years ago, and um, she just did a tour out here with her partner a guy called Michael Lusk, and we did a couple of shows together, and um, Kinsey's doing pretty well, and her, her partner, he's a bass player, and, and I, I was worried how good he was, because, uh, um, and then he, he told me that he used to play with, he played with Loretta Lynn for about 22 years, and wow. uh, he currently plays with Crystal Gale, so uh, he played with me, and, and he's a pretty good guy, and he certainly knows his way around a bass, so I shouldn't have been worried. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's pretty cool. Yeah, because Kinsey, was was she on uh, The Voice in America? She was on The Voice America, and, um, yeah, she did she did pretty well. So uh, I think Kelly Clarkson hit the um, hit the button to lock all the other people out. So she she did pretty well, um, Kinsey. But, um, yeah, so we, uh, we just did a few shows. They stayed with us for about a week, and uh, we can't wait to get back and bring the Sullivans back, and uh, we're going to stay with them and, and, uh, and repay the, repay the favour, I think. Yeah, for sure. Go check out Kevin and the Sullivans. It's Kevin Sullivan Music.com. He's on Facebook, Instagram. His latest album, Three Ways, comes out on the 28th. His brand new single, Journey, drops on Friday, and you're going to hear it first this morning. But boy, you are a storyteller, Kevin. Songs about your life, <laughs> Three Ways, Diane about your mom, Outback Australia is about Australia, Unknown People, Just Don't Mention Christmas, which is uh, just a killer story there. We'll talk about that. But it's funny, I, I heard you do an interview and you kind of threw it off, and I thought you were kidding, about a song called Steal the Kid's Inheritance. But you actually have a song called Steal the Kid's Inheritance. Yeah, it's well, it's called Spend the Kid's Inheritance. Or spend the, the Kid's Inheritance, so yeah. It's, it's sort of the same thing. Well, when we were touring, I, I kept seeing these stickers on the back of RVs and, and vans, and it said, we're going skiing, S-K-I. And I said to a bloke in a... In a in a, a fuel station one day, I said, "What's that mean?" He uh, SKI. He said, "It means we're spending the kids' inheritance." I said, "Really?" And uh, so I wrote a song about that, and we did a YouTube. It's a pretty funny song, and and really, what this, even though it um, that song talks about spending the kids' inheritance, what it really meant is is getting out and just living life. And you see, so many retired people who've worked hard all their lives, and. Uh, and it's and I know it happens in the states as well. People just get out there and they travel, and they're a really lovely, welcoming, friendly group of people in in vans and stuff. And uh, yeah, so the song is 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 a bit tongue in cheek. It's more about getting out and living life because we're not here a long time, Jeff. You know that, don't you? Yeah, that's for sure. And he knows that being a forensic uh, police investigator, that's for sure. And just don't mention Christmas. This is hilarious. I mean, we the the craziness of the world doesn't just. Uh, happen around in the states it's also in australia but tell us the story behind just don't mention christmas look my, one of my daughters uh, i've got five kids i've got two older girls to another life they're 31 and, and 32 yeah. but we've got the three little ones my littlest girl chacha when she was sort of in preschool um the the school that she's at they they knew i was a singer songwriter they said can you write a song so i wrote a song for them and then they said, oh, can you sing it at the Christmas concert? I said, yeah, no worries. And then one of the other teachers came up and said to me, look, we don't call it the Christmas concert. We call it the end of year concert. We don't use the word Christmas. And I had a bit of a, I wasn't traveling all that well. As you said, I, I do have a bit of a post-traumatic stress. and I, I, Some things do sort of set me off. And just the, the ridiculousness of that. And, and I said to them, like, what are you talking about? Like, you know, 
it's it's about Christmas and it's about tradition. Even if you don't have any religion, it's about you know tradition. And so um, I wrote a song called "Just Don't Mention Christmas." And uh, because when I went I went to the end of year concert that the, the preschool had, and they it was you know it was pretty crazy. Um, they didn't have any Christmas hymns. They didn't have any Christmas decorations. And I thought this the world's gone mad, Jeff. The world has gone yeah. mad. And I wrote this song, and at the end of it, I put about six or seven Christmas carols, and I have had people all over the world uh, contact me about that song, about it. It should be the first Christmas song that we hear at Christmas, and and so people still play it, and and yeah. So I, I I used to tell people I'm on the I'm on the side of God. I'm fighting back on the side of God, you know. So. Yeah, we love Christmas and everything it, it stands for. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just don't mention Christmas. It's hilarious. And he's got a music video for it. You Do you like making music videos? you got quite a few of them. Look, we we love them. It's just, it's such a different life. And, um, you know, I, I have a I have a bit of a mantra that it's it's never too late to chase your dream, Jeff. And, and I've always wanted to be a, a musician and, and probably coming back to my song I'm about to release, Journey. That's That's what it's about. I always had a dream and... Even the artwork for Journey is me as a, I think I'm about a five-year-old. I'm sitting there banging on a drum that my parents bought. They didn't have much money. So, look, I, I love playing music. I love living this musical dream. And, uh, you know, making videos is just so much fun. It really is. And uh, my wife and I, we, we sit down and we write the script. And we've worked with a few, um, you know, um, music video people out here. And uh, but we normally come with them with the whole package. This is what we want. These are the shots. This is how we want it. This is how we want it to play out. So, as you can see, and you've probably seen a few of them, you know, a lot of them, a couple of them are serious. Uh, like unknown people was about a, a terrible disaster. But a lot of a lot of the other ones, they're just a lot of fun, and um, and that's what music is. It's about sort of being a very uplifting thing. And and um, you know, when people come to our shows, we don't say we're just singers. You, it's a real entertaining show when you come and see Kevin Sullivan and the Sully Van. So, um, you know, that's what, we're, that's what we're doing. We're just having a go. And it's one fan at a time, too, Jeff. Exactly. And the Sully Vans, with, with the kids involved, it's got to be amazing watching them perform and uh, doing the songs. They do have a cover album uh, with the Sully Vans. And uh, you can go check that out. Go check them out at kevinsullivanmusic.com. Well, Diane, your dad's 93. How long? Your mom's been gone a little while, hasn't she been? Yeah, she she's been she's been gone about probably uh, six seven years now, uh, but like most like most mums, they real she really was the glue that kept it all together. I'm one of six kids, <clears throat> and there's about twenty two grandkids, and uh, yeah, so she um, you know we we were we were lucky in a way that um, we we got to take her home the last six days just before she died. She got really sick, and we took her home, and all six of us kids all moved back into mum and dad's house, and yeah, that was that was wow. different, Jeff. But anyway. We were all married with kids. We all moved in and we just took it in turns to to sit with mum around the clock and we were singing because we all sort of sing and we sang and just, you know, prayed and talked talk to her. And it was a really nice, if, if there's a nice way to, to send your mum off or you send your folks off, that was it. But um, she was so pivotal in our lives that, um, yeah, one of my sisters really struggles even to this day talking about mum. So I wrote the song, Diane about losing a loved one and sometimes you feel and it's it's a it's a universal thing and sometimes you feel you just can't carry on and sometimes you don't want to as well and um i know for mum in particular and most parents you know i can or hear my mum saying you know just just get on with it get on with life so the song's about dealing with the loss of a loved one and even though you think you can't carry on you, you and move on you, you can and uh, i just think it's a nice legacy for mum too so uh, yeah i'm really i'm really proud of that song yeah we'll play it for you here diane uh, a little bit later on in the show but i mean kevin you've had such a crazy life you are writing an autobiography how's the book coming along yeah, it's coming along pretty well, actually. Uh, I just heard from the, um, uh, the the co-author, and he's he's got another draft ready to go. So, look, we'd like to think it'll, it'll be out this year, but it might be next year. And it's just been a nice mix traveling from from that sort of police forensic sort of crazy life that I lived. And and I mind you, Jeff, I don't miss those days. A lot of people say, yeah. Kevin, do you miss those police days? I say, let me think about it. No, <laughs> um, although I. Although I did love it at the time and I lived for it, but um, yeah, music is my calling and was my calling. So uh, yeah, the book the book would be great because a lot of people say to me like you've had a great. And I I also worked. I did this course where it was like a 
uh, I suppose the equivalent of your like secret service course. I worked at I worked uh, at, at witness security, people on the witness protection program. I did a, I did a bit of a stint there, and you had to do this sort of close personal protection course. And uh, um, we had a big thing called the the Asia Pacific uh, Forum, and and uh, George W. Bush was out here, and and Putin, and and I got to look after the salt and the Brunei. So I've had this crazy, you know, exciting sort of life. Um, but but music is is what I love doing the most, and and that's what I've always had the most joy out of doing music, really. Yeah, he's had one heck of a journey. His brand new single "Journey" comes out on Friday. He mentioned it. Chase your dreams. Uh, I mean, just amazing. You co-wrote this song with this Peter. I'll probably butcher his name, Santella, who, who's also a police officer. Yeah, I was at a gig, and um, I was just I was just doing my thing. I played the show, and it. At the end of it, um, this guy came up to me and he said, I've got a similar background to you because I had about 27, 28 years in the cops. And, and he had two and, and he was a, a budding singer, songwriter. And, you know, he, so we just got together after that show and he actually traveled. He lived in a different state to me and, and he, he traveled and stayed with me and stayed with the family. And, and we wrote that he'd never written a song. We sat down and we wrote, we wrote Journey and, uh, yeah, it was just some things are just meant to be, Jeff. And uh, it, the, the song is a bit about his life as well. Um, but it's also about my, and even though we're both in the police, we have different sort of career paths. But, um, yeah, it, it, as a singer-songwriter, the best thing is when people sort of relate their story or a story of their life to something you've you've written or sung about. And, uh, yeah, it's, it's been great working uh, with Peter Santella on, on, that, on that song. Yeah, and, and Journey comes out Friday. You're going to hear it here in a minute. You also have an album release show Friday, June 28th at the, I'll probably butcher it, the Kayama's League Club. Uh, that's where Kevin lives. Uh, the full band, the Sullivans are going to be there. Is, is Your dad is actually making an appearance, I think, at the album release show. Yeah, we're going to get dad up on stage. I don't want to say too much, but I don't want to give too much away, exactly. Jeff. But, um, yeah, we, we're going to get dad up, and he's we, we're going to get him to play a little little bit of peace. He's still playing music even to this day. And uh, and then we're going to have him on stage as we play the song I wrote about him. And uh, listen, have you have you been down under Jeff? You've been down here to Australia? No, I haven't. Well, you would have come down. You, you've got a bit of time between now and the twenty eighth of June. I reckon <laughs> you can get on the flight, and uh, I can put your name on the door, Jeff, if you like. Exactly. I, I'd love to have one of the vinyls. You you have vinyls. You're stoked. You have vinyls for three ways. Yeah. Well, I, it's the first time I've ever released it on vinyl. We've got this amazing publicist and. Uh, and he suggested vinyl. I'm thinking vinyl, and um, and you know because I've got a stack of vinyls, and and you hear a lot of people saying vinyls coming back, uh, but I say and probably you say, well, Jeff, it never really left, and um, we've got the we've got the vinyls here, so we're releasing on CD, on USB, on vinyl, and um, I'll tell you what, it's the best thing I've done. The vinyl album is just impressive. It's got the inserts with the lyrics. And the photos, it's just so great. And, uh, you know, people say it doesn't sound better. I think it does sound better on vinyl. I've been playing it and it sounds yeah. better on vinyl, I think. I totally agree with you, Kevin. Go check him out. You can go check out his shop at kevinsullivanmusic.com. Go follow him. He's on Facebook, Instagram. Three Ways comes out on the 28th and his brand new single, Journey, drops on Friday. And I love you guys have the saying, we're the Sullivans and see you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, people say that back to us now all over the country now, Jeff. So, and no matter where we are, if people get in photos with us, we tell them, and they say, no, no, we know. What, I say, look, right at the end, we, they say, we know, what, we know what to say, and they all, they all yell it out, see you there. So uh, it's been a bit of a catch cry for us, which is a lot of fun. Yeah, go check him out. Go see him Friday, June 28th at the uh, album release show. Kevin, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Thanks so much, Jeff. Thanks, 96.5 Wyoming. And uh, we're going to come up and see you guys. We're going to sing something in the studio next time we're in we're in the States. Don't you worry about that. Yeah, that. That would be awesome. Here it is. It's brand new. It's a world exclusive. It's Journey by Kevin Sullivan. It's Kicks 96.5.